Like we've seen before, I have a handlebars template, and up above in the JavaScript, I grab the HTML from the template, I compile the source string, and then I create a context object, which has a body and an array of comments. And then I call the template method with the context object, and I append the resulting HTML to the body of the page. But what if I want to iterate over these comments and display each one underneath the body? To do that, I can use handlebars block helpers. So let's create a block helper. We'll call it iterate, and we'll use the pound symbol to indicate that it's a block helper. It'll take one parameter, the comments. With int and block helpers, we can put some HTML or other expressions. In this case, we'll just print out the comment. Now up in the JavaScript, let's create a handlebars helper. We'll call the register helper method, and the name of the method will be iterate. It'll take two parameters. The first will be the context object, and the second will be an options object. Before we go any further, let's print a couple things out to the console so we can get a sense for what's going on. We'll print out the context object and the options parameter. And finally, we'll take a look at what this points to. Over in the browser, I can see that the first parameter, context, is just the array of comments. I pass that as the first parameter in my handlebars template to the iterate method. The second parameter is always going to be the last parameter, and it's added for us automatically by handlebars. It has three properties, an fn method, a hash object, and an inverse method. And we'll take a look at how to use those in a second. Finally, we can take a look at what this points to. You can see that it points to the context object, but in general, it points to the outer context. What we're going to do in the iterate method is build up a string of HTML. To do that, we're going to iterate over all of the comments that are passed in using a for loop. And then for each comment, we're going to append to the return string the result of calling options.fn with whatever context we want, in this case, the current comment. And when we're done, we'll just return the resulting string. Over in the browser, if we refresh, we can see that the comments are now displayed. We can make this look a little bit nicer and use a div tag around each comment so that each displays on its own line. There, that looks a little better. But what if we wanted to use conditional blocks? Here I've updated the comments array. Each item is an object. It has the body like we had before, but I've added an isDeleted property to indicate whether or not the comment has been deleted or not. Over in my template, I only want to show the body of the comment if it hasn't been deleted. To do this, I can create a conditional block helper. I'll call it unless, and it'll take a parameter. I'll say unless the comment is deleted, print out the body. Otherwise, we'll just say that the comment has been deleted and put it in bold so that we can see it. And then I'll close my unless block. OK, over in our JavaScript file, let's define the helper. We'll call the handlebars.register helper method, and we'll name our method unless. The function will take the value as the first parameter, and then the options object that handlebars injects for us. I'll have an if else statement here, and if the value is truthy, I'll return the result of calling options.inverse. With, my, with the context. This will execute the else part of the block. Otherwise, I'll just call the fn method. And over in the browser, we can see the deleted comment. Now let's go back to the JavaScript and print out the options so we can take a closer look. If we expand the options object in the browser, we can see the inverse method. That'll execute the else part of the block. 
and the fn method will execute the normal part of the block. Let's go to our HTML and make sure that it's clear. You can see that the normal part of the block, we print the body. That's what happens when we call the fn method. The else part of the block prints deleted comment, and that's what happens when we call the inverse method. Handlebar ships with a number of built-in block helpers that you can use right away. You can check out handlebarsjs.com to see what the built-in block helpers are and how to use them.